Hey guys, that up here. One of the interesting little things about me is that I get hot very easy, like 75 degrees out and I'm sweating if there's no breeze. But it's hard for me to really get cold. I drive in the snow with the top down, wear shorts all year round. I don't care. I love the cold. I like air conditioning. The wife doesn't so much like it all the time, or at least as much as I do. She has three complaints about the air conditioning. One, the cost. Well, I'm going to get solar panels, so hopefully I'll defray some of that cost. Two is uh, it gets too cold for her. The air conditioner is kind of in the living room, dining room area, and my office doesn't get cold at all, so I have it on all the time when it's warm out. And three, this air conditioner is very loud, and she feels this roaring into her head whenever it's on. So, we are going to fix that today by putting an air conditioning unit into the office. Here is the window in my office where we are going to be placing the air conditioning unit. A couple things about this. This is a side to side shutting window. It's not up and down. And all of the air conditioners that I have picked up at garage sales and whatnot are all for the vertical windows. So we're going to have to find a way to frame in an air conditioner here. One of the rules for us living here is no holes in anything. So I have to find a way to put an air conditioning unit in here without putting a mounting frame on the outside drilled into the vinyl siding or into these windows, into the frames of the windows. I've already measured the window and now we just have to find a piece of plywood to put into that window frame. Here on the side of the house, I still have all this leftover wood from garage sales and auctions that I've picked up over the years. I was thinking about using some of this press board here, but I think it might be a little too flimsy for the air conditioner weight. So I'm going to pick up a piece of this plywood back here and cut it to fit. Now I'm not a carpenter, but I think I know how a tape measure works. And the window measures 33 and a half inches by 28 and a half inches. So this piece of plywood here is going to be the perfect size for that. Now we followed the old adage of measure once, cut three times. I don't know who came up with that, but it takes a lot more time doing it that way. But I think we finally got it cut to the right size, so let's go put it in the window and find out. Here's what it looks like when the window is open and the plywood is put into the frame. From inside, you can see that it fits into the frame there nicely. The top, there is a little bit of a gap, which we will take care of in a bit. And this side here fits into the window, which we will um, kind of press against that with a little shim right in here. Kind of like what you do to keep the burglars out. This piece of plywood fits in there nice. So nice, in fact, that I can't get it back out. I spent the last hour trying. So, I'm going to have to add a couple handles or knobs or something to be able to get this back out of the window frame. For now, I'm going to take a couple screws and screw them into there so I can get a good grip of it. Our next step is to cut a hole the size of the air conditioner in the center of the piece of plywood here. But before I cut that hole, I'm going to have to figure out which of the two air conditioners that I have uses the least amount of energy. That way I can put that one in because it's going to be eventually running off of solar. First up, we have the Sharp air conditioner. It is rated at 8,000 BTU, 740 watts, 6.8 amps. It's got a pretty weird upside down kind of plug that's blocking a lot of the buttons from a kilowatt meter so I have it set to watts and its resting heart rate is 1.1 just say just over one watt. Okay so we turn it on and turn this thing down to 60 as well and you can see we are at 470-ish watts. And I don't really hear the compressor on. 
on yet, so let's see what happens when that thing kicks on. Looks like we're spiking at just over 580 watts while the compressor is running. And the fan alone runs at about 150 watts. I didn't really notice any change in the noise between the compressor being on or not. Um, the only way I really even could tell is it got colder and the watts went up. So this thing is this loud all the time. Next up we have this Daewoo air conditioner and it says that it uses 500 watts of power. So we are going to plug it into the kilowatt meter and find out. Here we have the Daewoo on the kilowatt meter and its resting rate it looks like about one-ish kilowatt, just a hair under. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Put it down to is really cold and we just have the fan on right now it looks like it's running about 71 ish watts just for the fan let's wait for the compressor to kick on okay the compressor just kicked on and we're getting a spike here and some really cold air Looks like we are hitting about ooh, 369, 370. Looks like it was the max there. Okay, the compressor just kicked off. It hit up to 392. It was only on for about, I don't know, two minutes or so before the fan kicked on. Now we do have a couple buttons down here. We have uh, energy save, which let's see what that does to our resting rate. Ooh, drops it a little bit. Not really enough to matter that much, but it dropped it a little bit. Let's turn that back off. See if it jumps again. Oh, I can hear it. So it goes back up to 72-ish. I was going to cut a hole right here in the middle for the air conditioner, but this air conditioner has such a nice little lip here and right here that I'm going to cut it out along this bottom and then this uh, piece of plywood is going to help rest that uh, from falling out and that will fit right in the lip nicely. Learning my lesson from before, I've already traced <laughs> the air conditioner out. Now I'm gonna take it off and make my cut. It took some doing, but we finally have our hole cut. Now let's put in the air conditioner. So here you have it. The air conditioner is now installed. It's nice and strong. It's not going anywhere. This window here is pushed over by a piece of the plywood wedged into the window frame. Now, let's test this thing out. I've plugged it into my kilowatt meter because I want to see how much power this thing will use in a day of use. Now, we will hit the on button. Cool the temp down to is too cold. air conditioning in my office. Well that's all I have for this video. As always don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, check out the website and we'll see you guys on the next video.